Hello, I found my snake friend. Maybe I should, should I touch him? No, I'll leave him alone. I'm not sure if I, well, I have touched a snake once or twice, but um, it's mowing day and I found, uh, you know, I always find trash that blows into the yard like this newspaper here. And I thought, oh, this is some rope or something. Nope. <laughs> like that first year where I thought it was a bicycle tire. It is not in fact a bicycle tire. It is my friendly rodent patrol friend. Um, since we're doing a vlog, where did my tree go? Since the thistle has grown in so hard, there's my um, evergreen, there's my cattails. Um, here's the yard. I've only started, uh, mowing a little bit. I've gotten up there and then the path down to the garden and then I'm, you know, going around the edges of everything. While I'm over here, look at all these plums. I hope these mirabelles actually ripen, or at least, you know, at least one of them ripens and I get some mirabelles this year. This might be the rootstock or it might be a grafted mirabelle. I don't know if it's, um, this perfume de septembre or if it's something else because it kind of looks like it's grafted but they didn't really label it so uh i guess we'll find out right either they'll grow in small and yellow like i'm expecting or it'll be something else oh we have an ant friend i don't know if you can see him anyway so um i'm gonna get back to mowing Today's the one sunshiny and not rainy day for the whole entire past week. The week and a half that I needed rain for the strawberries to get plump, it didn't rain. And now that they're starting to ripen, uh, it's rainy and cold kind of all the time. Um, but let's go take a look. Oh, look, we have flowers everywhere. Let's take a look at the flowers. This I transplanted from near the house. I'm glad that I did so I don't run over it with the lawnmower and everything else. Um, here's all of my pretty flowers. Here's the columbines, tons of thistle. I'll leave it because the, um, those yellow guys, the goldfinches like it. I don't know what this tree is. Maybe I should look it up to figure out what it is. I don't think it's a maple. I'm not sure that I want a tree growing right here, right? There's all sorts of trees and blackberries and stuff that I gotta get on top of. I think that's that yellow flower that pops up everywhere. Um, here's more of that, I don't know what it is, but it's nice, it's pink and white and everything in between. Some of them have nice circles around the centers of the flowers. What else, what else? I have some, uh, I think it's flax, that blue flower pops up here and there. This one over here. And then, let's look at those strawberries. And the only reason I can get through some of the mowing today is because I have a painkiller patch on my back. So the garden is growing in well. A lot of the melons kind of died back, maybe because it was too cold for them because it was in the 40s, but oh well, hopefully some of them survive. I think the watermelons are. So the ground cherries and the um, tomatillos are doing good. This lettuce is everywhere, which is nice. I don't even remember having put seeds over here, but that's great. Maybe it's from the seed stalks that I put in the compost. The tomatoes are doing fine. There's a watermelon there that's doing okay. I gave the clump of oregano that was over there away to the neighbor so that I could have made room for that tomato, right? And then the strawberries are kind of growing in everywhere. I got two yesterday that I ate. They were a little bit sour because they weren't quite, quite ripe. And the day before I got two, one of them I picked because I think a bird had pecked it or something. And actually I found my big fat toad in that pot over there, the empty one. It was kind of making noise when I was out here, I want to say yesterday, and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was that mouse or whatever, or maybe a bird making noises at me, but I, Somehow I thought to look in that pot and there was a nice big fat toad. So I moved a, a big toad house to behind this white planter here for it. I don't know if it needs a house or what. Um, what else? Uh, I think the, ooh, that's not good. 
think most of the squashes are doing okay. This one, this one is why I said, ooh, the leaves don't look so great on it. Maybe it'll grow in new ones. I don't know if the white spots are sun damage or cold damage or what, but I mean, hopefully some of them will pull through, right? Oh, that's why these carrots are so tall. They're all going to bloom. Well, maybe I'll pull them out. I don't have a billion carrot seeds. Maybe I'll let them bloom though. I probably should pull them. Well, I don't know if they're good for eating after they already go to bloom. But they're definitely blocking light to the onions, so I'll have to do something soon. The peas are going well. I just started some uh, noodle beans and the uh, pole beans that I had over here inside. I also started loofah gourds inside um, and parsnips because I only had one pop up in the pot over there. Um, what else? Peanuts. Um, and I think that's it. So I put two, I moved, I moved the stack of pots this morning. So I put two more pots out, but I have one, two, three, four, five. That's potatoes that have come up, which is exciting from that one from my fridge. So that was one, two, three, four, five. Uh, six and then seven and eight where that kind of piddly little sunflower is coming up I'm gonna dig that over um, so eight pots for the peanuts and the sweet potato slips that I'm getting and actually in this pot over here and I don't know if you can see it coming up under the ground over here the um, thimbleberry there must have been pieces of roots in there that have sprouted so I'm gonna move them over to the um, shade over there um i actually had i don't know if you can see raspberry kind of spread into the actual ground so it's kind of coming up over there it's a problem but not a problem so i'm gonna move it around the yard too if it if it rains tomorrow and everything gets nice and sopping wet um and my back feels up to doing a little bit of digging then i'll move those because i probably shouldn't leave them if you have a raspberry stock coming up, you know, soon you'll probably have 10. So, um, maybe that's it for this week because I want to get back to the mowing. Oh, and I took down, man, they're already growing back in. I took down all the stalks of the sorrel uh, so they wouldn't be shading everything else out. But they're growing back because they're ferocious. And I need to dump this pot and put something else in there. You know? Maybe I have eight and a half pots. Eight of the big pots and then the small one that I gotta plant something in. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned it last week, I have the uh, May Pops coming up here and there. So there's one here. And there's a couple others around the garden. And if they do anything like they did last year, they kind of start off real slow. Uh, one or two here or there. And then suddenly you have like 500. <laughs> uh, so we'll see we'll see and they're kind of a late crop so my my beans are all kind of late crops except for the favas that are in here oh let's look at those cucumbers to see if they survived oh that one does not look good does it was there one over here there was one over here oh that looks real bad too that one looks okay i think there was another one. Oh, that doesn't that's not very good that is not very good at all Hopefully, hopefully it grows though. Hopefully it resprouts from one of those branches. I mean, I'm glad I got everything out while it was kind of overcast so I didn't have to acclimate and play with bringing them in and out all the time. Uh, but cucumbers are kind of like melons, right? So m melons are kind of just sweeter cucumbers. So if, uh, if the melons were unhappy, definitely the cucumbers were too. Moving this fava bean over a little bit if I can to get it inside the trellis. I might have started those favas a little bit too late. We'll see. And I'm leaving the sunflower to grow. It'll just, you know, grow through the middle of this trellis and maybe stabilize it. <laughs> um, okay. I am... I'm really going to get back to mowing now. Oh. Oh, last thing. Uh, there's a kiwi over there, right? In a pot. I have two other kiwis that I ordered, another female hardy kiwi and then a male one for the pollen. Hopefully I do get the construction through the middle of the yard here done this year. Um, 
and then I'll be able to put trellises in a lot of places. So I've been trying to think about where to put those kiwis permanently all spring long and it still hasn't come to me but hopefully I think of it soon. Um, and then I have the additional pawpaw trees that I want to plant along the side there coming and then a full-size cherry tree that I think I'm going to put in one of these big pots because um, if that jujube over there doesn't sprout because the one over here sprouted but the one over there didn't if that one doesn't sprout then I'll move the full-size cherry to over there like I did initially planned but then I'll have to get another jujube for the pollen but maybe I'll put that in after I get the construction done okay now <laughs> back to the mowing 